I'm sorry, I got some work to do here and uh, it is quite busy because I am working at school right now. Okay, I'm, we're, um, uh, I'm working at school. Uh, there is some problem with the internet connection, but maybe we try to do um, um, just a short session only yeah, for today, right? So I'm very sorry for the, for the, for the problem. Make sure you can uh, see me. Make sure you can see my presentation and then also um, hear me. Eh? Can you hear me? Okay. Eh? All right. So now it's recording. Um, okay. Very simple things. I just want to show you uh, something. Eh? Right. Um, Entire screen. Okay, can you see my screen sharing? Can you see my screen sharing class, please? Respond, please. Okay. Can it can, eh? Okay, okay, never mind, never mind. All right, good. So, um, so I just want to um, uh, teach you something. Eh? This is about the um, uh, the what we call the enzyme. Okay, these are the enzyme in digestive system okay flow the flow of food i think no problem okay the flow of food first you go from the food uh enter the mouth and then chew by the teeth uh, this one we call by what we call a um, physical digestion right physical digestion because the food is chewed by the teeth and then softened by saliva and then please remember it has what we call it also undergo chemical digestion in mouth eh? it also undergo chemical di digestion by using we call by using um, an enzyme you still remember what is enzyme enzyme okay what is enzyme uh, enzyme is just a chemical okay uh, secret by body to help the digestion of food this is what we call by enzyme and then enzyme usually if you want to um, recognize or identify what is enzyme usually it will end with ASE okay it will end the chemical name it will end by ASE for example here amylase okay uh, maltase protease okay ASE always end by ASE this is enzyme okay the example of enzyme okay so the first food when you eat okay the first the food will enter your mouth it undergo can you still remember it will undergo chemical uh, physical digestion and chemical digestion you still remember yeah, what is physical digestion and what is chemical digestion all right this is the first step in digestion all right so what are the enzyme inside the mouth we call it salivary amylase salivary ami amylase okay so what the amylase what the enzyme do it will turn starch into maltose okay it will turn starch into maltose and then starch here is the product of what we call carbohydrate carbohydrates okay the class of food carbohydrate all right starch here right? starch here can you understand this? Boleh faham tak yang ni mula-mula? First in mouth. When the food enter your mouth, it will be the first step of digestion. Uh, physical, 
physical by using what? By using the teeth because we need to chew the food. We need to, uh, what we call, uh, to cut the food into smaller portion. All right. And then chemical also, chemical digestion because we have also enzyme inside the saliva. So inside the mouth, we have um, uh, physical digestion and chemical digestion. Okay. So amylase will turn starch into maltose. You must remember what is the function of digestion. You still remember the function of digestion is to what? Is to what we call break down the complex molecule to simpler molecule for our body to absorb. Uh, for our body to absorb. Because the food we eat usually big uh, and complex. All right? It needs to be broken down. It needs to be it need to be broken down into simpler molecule so that our bo body can absorb. Okay? Can you understand this? I'm sorry for the gangguan eh, because got some busy here. Is it okay? Can. Can you, boleh, huh? Okay, never mind, never mind. Eh? If you uh, got something to ask uh, later on, uh, maybe after this you can ask, right? Okay. So the next one, it go into esophagus. So I want to ask you esophagus. Esophagus, digestion take place or no? Anybody, any, anyone can answer? At esophagus. Got digestion in esophagus or no? This is esophagus, yeah? Uh, this is what we call esophagus, this, this area here. No. Okay, very good. There is no digestion here. It's just a, what we call a connect connecting tube between the mouth to the stomach okay and then you still remember what is number two uh, number two we call it bolus uh. bolus after we eat the food after you put the uh, after you put food into your mouth and then you chew it it will turn into bolus okay and then the bolus will will uh, enter the esophagus and then by the process of peritalsis the bolus here will move from mouth to the to the stomach okay peristalsis so what is peristalsis i will give you example i will try to give you the animation of peristalsis here yeah? so where is it mm. okay so this is what happened in peristalsis yeah okay can you see the animation here can you see the animation of peristalsis plus please okay this is the action of peristalsis what are the white matter here what substance here is what we call it what this one this is what we call this ball we call it bolus, yeah? We call it bolus. And then this is the, what we call by peristalsis. Because of the changes muscle of the esophagus, it will push the food. We, we do not call it food, yeah? After you chew the food inside your mouth, it will call bolus. It will push the bolus yeah, from mouth directly into the stomach. So this is what we call the action of peris, peristalsis. Okay? Right. So my question is, if you are lying down, okay, you are you are lying down, you are lying down like you are asleep. Can you can the can you eat food when you are lying down? Can you can the food eh, goes from your mouth to the stomach when you are lying down? For example, uh, you are lying on the on the uh, on the sofa. For example, can the bolus move or cannot? Macam contohnya, eh? contohnya mas, kamu baring. When you are lying down, kamu baring kan? And then you eat food. Food move or can move or not? Yes? Yeah. Okay, it may be a little bit difficult. Okay, good. But my question is, it is moving or not moving? When you are lying down. You are lying down and then you, for example, you eat fruit, you know, like a king, you know, all right? Yes, it the bolus will move, but like you said, it's a bit difficult, right? 
Ah, ha? okay. Dia boleh bergerak juga ya. When you are lying down flat, horizontal ya, vertical no problem lah. Because maybe the help of the gravity also move the bolus ya from the mouth to the to the stomach. But when you are lying down, the bolus still moving. Ah, ha? because what be, uh, because of this what we call a peristalsis effect eh? peristalsis because the muscle inside the esophagus will try to push the food the bolus into the stomach it will push not yeah the bolus is not coming down uh, itself eh? the bolus not coming down itself but it push by the by the esophagus muscle okay this is what we call peristalsis effect right okay so number two esophagus no digestion happen it is just a tube that connecting mouth to the stomach okay understand next one is all right okay number three is stomach uh, this is stomach here the first uh what we call stomach it has the next stage of digestion yeah? the next stage of digestion we call it store uh, we call it stomach okay so you what you must remember you must remember what is the enzyme inside the stomach okay the enzyme is protein protease the enzyme inside the stomach we call it protease enzyme is just like a chemical substance yeah? secret by the body okay and then what is the other uh, substance inside the stomach we call it hydrochloric acid uh, there are two substance inside the stomach one is enzyme we call it protease and then the second one we call it hydrochloric acid again you must remember what is digestion is all about we want to convert the complex molecule of food into simpler one okay simple from from complex to simple because we cannot absorb the food directly we must break down into simpler molecule then our our body will absorb the nutrient okay okay what's the function of hydrochloric acid activate the protease and kill the bacteria okay this is the uh what we call the the function of hydrochloric acid and then what is the function of of the enzyme protease okay the protease will break down protein into poly types okay the enzyme will break down protein into poly that types right and then the bolus now when you enter the, uh, the stomach it will become a uh, semi-liquid we call it chimes yeah? chimes here yeah. all right this is the second stage of digestion the first stage where the first stage at the hello class first stage is on uh, in inside mouth what is the enzyme inside mouth what is the enzyme anybody hello can you hear me can, can. what is the enzyme inside our mouth our first digestion inside the mouth still remember Emi, emilis, enzyme, eh? enzyme. You remember enzyme? Enzyme, eh? enzyme inside our mouth, we call it emilis. Emilis will break down starch into maltose. Okay? Starch is one of the carbohydrate. Starch is come from carbohydrate. Okay? Right? Boleh, eh? Boleh tak? All right. The second one is stomach. Enzyme inside the stomach, we call it protease. And then protease break down protein into polypeptides. Okay? So this is what happened in the in the second digestion. Second digestion of food eh, inside the stomach. Okay, never mind. Next one. Duodenum. Okay, inside duodenum. Um, duodenum is the first part of the small intestine. First part of the small intestine. Okay. And then it also produces a variety of chemical also 
in order to help the digestion. All right. For example, the liver produce what we call a bile. Okay, and then uh, the bile will emulsify fat into small droplets and neutralize the acid in the in the chimes. Yeah? And then the pancreas will produce pancreatic juice contain enzyme, three enzyme all together we have amylase, protease and lipase. Uh, this all in enzyme. Alright? To what we call to to help the digestion. Alright? In duodenum. Okay? In duodenum. Duodenum is the part, the third part of digestion. Again, the first part of digestion, mouth. Second part is stomach. And then number four is duodenum. Okay, duodenum actually is the first part of small intestine. Eh? It is first part of the small intestine. Later on, I will uh, I will what we call uh, call this small intestine. Okay, and then number five, small intestine. Okay, it will secrete what enzyme maltase and protease, and then maltase digest maltase digest maltose into glucose, and then protease will digest D peptides into amino acid okay this substance glucose amino acid is the substance all right is the substance that is simpler substance simpler substance that can be absorbed by our body okay large intestine got digestion or no in large this large intestine class large intestine rectum Anus, huh? it is not involved directly in digestion. Okay, the only parts in, involved in digestion: mouth, stomach, small intestine. Okay, mouth, stomach, and small in, intestine. Large intestine, rectum, and anus. Okay, it is part of digestive system, but it is not involved in the what we call the the digestion of the food. Okay, large intestine, it will, what we call, um, reabsorb the water. You just remember, it just reabsorb the water in large intestine. Rectum, okay, just what we call store the feces. What is feces? A feces is the, what we call the poo, ataupun najis, najis manusia itu ya. Rectum, just store here before it need to be removed oh. when you want to remove it uh, when you have when you go to the toilet right you want to uh, pass bowl ataupun you mau buang air besar uh, itu the rectum just store the undigested food undigested food okay undigested meaning the food that cannot be digested right and then anus is the feces are the excreted from the body through the through the anus okay all right so if I conclude the what we call uh, the topic for today, all right. You must remember this is the digestion. Yeah? This is what we call the digestion. Okay, the yellow parts here is the complex molecule. Complex molecule meaning that the food that we eat. Huh? For example, what? For example, the nasi lemak, the roti, and everything, the roti canai ke, mie goreng, everything you think has what we call a complex molecule. And then complex molecule can be absorbed or cannot absorb by body directly. Can be or cannot be absorbed? No. Cannot be. Eh? The yellow one, we cannot absorb the food directly. So it must be digested. Eh? Can you see the picture here? Ah, This one, for example... Uh, protein. This is what we call complex, uh, complex uh, food. We want to uh, uh, digest it into simpler one. You see here, from protein to amino acid, from starch to glucose. This uh, the picture or the symbol of uh, what we call the structure of the nutrient on your right is the simpler one. Fatty acid, glycerol, simple. Amino acid, simple. Glucose, simple. Huh? starch complex protein complex fats also complex okay you need to change this this one this is what we call by the digestion uh, digest from complex molecule 
to a simpler molecule or to simple molecule that can be absorbed by the that can be absorbed by the body. Okay, so these are the the what we call the summer the summary of what we learn today. Okay, starch from actually it is from carbohydrate. We call it starch. Eh? Okay, and then starch will turn into maltose in where in mouth. What are the enzyme? What are the enzyme turn the starch into maltose? We call it ami amylase. Can you understand the? Can you understand this? Can. Okay. Again, yeah. Again. Ah, uh, this is last one. Yeah? The summer. The, just the summary only, right? Starch. Starch. We found starch inside the food. For example, the uh, the the rice you eat, the bread you eat. Yeah. Inside the bread we have starch, and then starch is one of the carbohydrate. Remember. When you eat, the enzyme that turn the starch into maltose inside the mouth, we call it ami amylase. You still remember amylase? Yeah? If enzyme enzyme name usually end with a s e. Okay, enzyme's name usually end with end with a s e. Boleh ni, boleh faham ni? Okay. For example, amylase, protease, maltase, lipase. Okay, this is all what we call the, the enzyme name. Okay. Starch will con convert to maltose using amylase in the mouth. Okay, I want to ask you something. Maltose is simpler, uh, simpler molecule or not simpler molecule? Can maltose absorb that uh, absorb by the body? Can or cannot plus? Can or cannot maltose this one? Cannot. Okay, good, very good. Maltose cannot be absorbed by our body yet because it need to be digest again. Digest again to become glucose. What enzyme from maltose to glucose? What enzyme it use? What enzyme? This one. It use what enzyme? From maltose to glucose. What enzyme here? Can you read the enzyme name here? Can you read the, the enzyme name? It use mal maltase. Can you hear me? Can. Can, eh? Huh? From mal uh, okay uh, from maltose uh, from maltose it will turn into glucose by enzyme maltase so uh, it will turn into glucose in small intestine and then glucose right here glucose right here uh, can be absorbed by the body or cannot can okay it was already absorbed by the body because it already become simple molecule a simple molecule the red one here so glucose here for example here this one glucose is already already um, become simpler simpler molecule okay how about protein uh, protein how much how many steps here got one two three okay protein will turn into polypeptides by what enzyme pro Protease. Okay. And then it will become polypeptides. Polypeptides in the stomach. Okay. Polypeptides can be absorbed by body or cannot? Polypeptides. Cannot. Still cannot. Good. Very good. That's the answer. Still cannot absorb by the body. So it need to be broken down again. It need to be digest again. So... For using the same uh, enzyme, it will turn into D peptides. It will turn into D peptides. Again, D peptides can absorb by the body or cannot? Cannot. D still cannot. Very good. 
Okay, so if still cannot, it need to be digest again. It need to be broken again. It need to be broken down, uh, uh, broken down again, to become amino acid. What enzyme? What enzyme here? Still using protease. Okay, and then it will become amino acid in the small small intestine. Now, amino acid can be absorbed or cannot? Can. And then amino acid can be absorbed by the body. So this is the last product, what we call the last product of digestion, of protein. Huh? Protein, how many steps? You need to break down it into one, two, three, about three steps. From protein, become polypeptides, polypeptides become dipeptides, dipeptides become amino acid, then amino acid can be absorbed by the body. How about starch? From starch to maltose, maltose to glucose, only two steps. Okay, and then how about fats? Okay, fats very easy. Uh, fats, it will turn into fatty acid and glycerol by what enzyme? Uh, can you read the enzyme here for fat? Where's the enzyme? The enzyme for fat. Uh, this one. Can you see the, uh, my... Uh, the uh, this one, can you see it? What is the enzyme? Yeah. Lipase. Isn't it? Lipase, right. Okay, fat will turn or broken down into fatty acid and glycerol by what enzyme? Lipase. Okay, and then my question. Fatty acid and glycerol can be absorbed by our body or cannot? Can. Okay, very good. Can be absorbed because only one what we call only one enzyme to break down the fat. Only use lipase, only one step. Okay? Then it will be absorbed by the body. So, my question, next question. Okay? Where is the part, all the, what we call the final product, glucose, amino acid, and fatty acid and glycerol, absorbed by our body in which part? of digestive system. Which part? Absorbed by your body. Bahagian mana? Hmm? Absorbed by your body. Which part you think? Bahagian mana? Bahagian? Uh, which part of our body they absorb the, the what we call uh, the nutrient? Bahagian mana? Glucose where? Black. Small large, or small? large or small? Ah, absorb the nutrient, absorb all the digested product. Small, small intestine. You just remember that, okay? Glucose, amino acid, uh, glucose for carbohydrate, amino acid for protein, fatty acid and glycerol for fat. These three product already able to absorb into our body. In which, in what area, in which part, small, small intestine. Okay, small intestine. All right. And then what happened to the undigested food? Kalau yang, yang tidak boleh, cannot broken down anymore, what happened to the food? The food that cannot be broken down anymore will go to, will go to where? Number six. Large. Large large yes. yes, okay, very good, very good. We'll go to large intestine, where large intestine will reabsorb the water back, eh? reabsorb the excess water, and then go back to the rectum, eh? rectum into the place where they store the feces. Fe feces here is the stool, ataupun the, kita panggil najis lah, dia punya tai, <laughs> dia punya najis, yeah? and then go to anus, and that's to be to be removed huh? when you go to the toilet to to pass bowel or to bo untuk untuk kata orang panggil buang air besar lah eh? okay any any problem any question so now it's 10 a.m never mind if you have any question like usual you can ask me in the telegram group lah, eh? and then for the exercise i will give you uh, the further instruction on the telegram group also okay 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 Okay, very good. I'm sorry for the uh, inconvenience for the lot, very, uh, so much what we call the interference, like, interference because I am at school right now. And then uh, 
got got problem with the computer and the internet. No, no problem. Okay, I think we can end here. Okay. Ramai. <laughs> okay, I think we can end here. So we see you again next class, yeah. So we see you uh, uh, next class, and then uh, thank you, thank you for your for your cooperation and attention. You can leave the class right now. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Ziying, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Mama Mantai, thank you. Yahoi, very good. Thank you, Wei Xiang. Yes, Winnie, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>